Hello, this is Raghav Shams here and today I am here with an, a cool bot which is an amphibian bot from my team. And what you must be wondering what's so cool about this bot. Obviously being an amphibian from its name itself, this bot can move both on land as well as on water. Now let's come to the components that it contains. Firstly, the pod has a PVC made body along with few paddle wheels, which are obviously four paddle wheels, which paddle it, paddle it and motor, and also helps it on move, moving on land. This pod has two basic sensors, which one of which is a obstruction proximity sensor based on ultrasonic sensors, and the other one is a PIR sensor which helps in manual detection both on land and on surface of upper surface of water. So let's move on with the making of the bot. You must be wondering how is it made. So let's come to it. This bot is basically made on PVC material as you can see complete PVC and to get the PVC material, I have bought a full PVC sheet and cut it into five pieces basically. Which often was the base to front sides and the back side and two lateral walls. And definitely making this, uh, to make this part, there was a glue required, two glues required two epoxy glues basic one of which was an M was a basic MC as you can see and other was Aralite. Now you must be knowing about epoxy if not let me show you. Epoxy basically can consist of two glues which act as a glue only after being mixed in equal volume in vol it is equal in case of MC but different epoxies have different ratios too. I light had a 4 is to 5 ratio. Okay, so it was a glue with MC as you can see and few other coating had been made inside with aldite as you can see here. And to make the wheels and paddle wheel movable the board has four motors. You can have a look at the motor. This is basically a 200 RPM motor working on DC current, obviously. It has four such motors to over here on these two wheels and the two there. And then come, let's come to the sensor. The sensor basically ultrasonic and the PIR sensor is programmed using the controller chip which is basic Arduino at Mega 328 chip which on which this chip is set is Arduino R3 at Mega 328P. Now let's come to the Paddle wheel of the pot. Here I have the exact paddle wheel that is made. Now you must be wondering where did I get this paddle from? Obviously, it's made by me only. And here's the PVC material cut out. And I have transfixed two of them, definitely. But uh, four s the whole thing is 4 centimeters and 1 cm inwards and 3 that is 1 cm inwards and 3 cm outwards it is a perforated paddle blade definitely can have a look at the perforation you can see there are holes made multiple of them to, to cut out this PVC blades and for the body also I have used hacksaw over here let me show you the hacksaw here is a basic small hacksaw and for minor cutting, you can also use its blade alone. This is the blade of the large hacksaw, which is generally used. 
in workshops to make the bot run manually i have used two dpdts which is a remote made i've completely made a remote out of them you can have a look at this switch two this is basically a two pole switch dpdt double pole triple double throw and definitely it has six pins over here and to make it for to make it work on reverse basis to make it work for reversing of the current you first need to cross connect the two out four outer pins and then the middle one can be middle two can be used for connecting the two motor two pins of the motors that is positive and negative terminal and other two over here can be used for connecting the power source with positive and negative terminals and as you may switch it to either side the motor turns and at the opposite side it turns opposite now I had done this to make it manual you can also program the wheels on uh, using the Arduino board with a code and you may require a driver chip which is L298 and as you if you prefer you can also use l 293 d sorry l 293 d now some of you must be wondering why did I perforate the paddle plates of the paddle wheel so the basic reason for it was firstly let's get it here I had just perforated only one centimeter which was inward of the wheel and it w to get this here let's come to the point what does the paddle wheel actually does the paddle wheel basically pushes the water backwards while moving forward and therefore there is a force developed on the board move which makes the board move forward and while doing this you may notice if the paddle blade pushes only for now you need to focus only at this one centimeter portion so when the paddle blade is pushing the water backwards some part of the motor will collide with the inner walls of the wheel which are here so that will create another resistive force which will slow down the motion of the pot so to overcome this resistance I have perforated this one centimeter portion so that the water flows through them easily without creating any resistance